Look what I found at Dollar Tree. I found their wonderful pizza pans. And I'm gonna grab a couple of these. I have a Dollar Tree pizza pan and some Rust-Oleum gloss berry pink spray paint. And I am going to just spray it with a nice coat of this paint let it dry completely and then i'm going to come back and give it another coat i'm going to use six cups of hot water and six teaspoons of truly green rich liquid dye and i'm going to use that on half which is 50 of my close pins and I'm going to soak these down in here and I'm gonna put a Ziploc bag full of water on top of these to make sure that they soak down in here um, and they don't just float. In my other container, I'm going to do six cups of hot water and just three teaspoons of the writ dye for some lighter green on my other 50 clothespins. So here you can see the difference in the dark green and the light green clothespins. And I'm just going to let them dry now. Now, before we get started on the front, I have tied a really good knot in the um, in a ribbon that I'm going to be using on the front and I'm going to take and instead of hot glue because there's going to be some weight involved um, the ultimate uh, multi-surface adhesive uh, this uh, takes a little bit longer to dry but I am more confident that this will hold the weight after we put our close pins on and I'm just going to stick this on just like this with the knot and I'm just going to leave that and this will be how we hang this on the door. So now that our pizza pan is all painted and beautiful, I am going to take a um, water-based, I like the water-based, um, which is acrylic because it um, dries really quickly, a black marker and I like the chisel tip and I am just going to paint some little watermelon seeds. You have to be careful if you're not real smooth with them, then they, then they turn into giant watermelon seeds. And I know we mostly buy seedless watermelons now, but if we just do, don't do any seeds on this, it kind of loses the idea that it's a watermelon. And I think that's plenty of seeds. Now I'm going to get our green clothespins that we dyed. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to clip these on to our pizza pan and I'm going to alternate a light one with a dark one. And sometimes you get some uh, dark coloring on your clothespins. Just turn it over and see if the other side looks a little nicer. And this will just simulate the variation in color on the outside of your watermelon. But I am going to leave a space down at the bottom and then I'll show you how we're going to finish this off. So our watermelon wreath is to this point and now we're going to finish up the bottom. And I've picked out what I think are some pretty watermelonish colors of silk flowers and I'm going to cut them really close to the blossoms, like right there. And I'll put this dark one in the middle and these other two on the sides like that. And I'm gonna put a generous amount of hot glue all around the bottom. If you are going to be putting this on a door in the sun, you would want to use um, maybe uh, the ultimate or um, a, 
Gorilla Glue adhesive, maybe not just hot glue. I know um, if I um, put something with hot glue on it in um, the sun, on a door that's in the sun, I have a problem with it heating up and letting go. So keep that in mind if you get a lot of heat on your door like I do here in Florida. And I think those go with our watermelon really nicely. This is so nice for summer fun. I'm gonna go ahead and tie a bow with this. This is a nice wired ribbon. <clears throat> you can make your bow as large or as small as you would like if you cannot tie a bow. The misleading thing about bows is how much ribbon it takes to tie a bow. It, you, you think that like a three yard bow is a big bow and it is not. So like, I think I might use this, end up using this whole bolt of ribbon for this bow. So I'm just gonna secure it. You can secure it with a wire or I like to use pipe cleaners. They're not so hard on my hand. And just turn it over in the back and secure it. And I'm gonna fluff it up mostly down because, so I'm gonna fluff it down, I guess, because the upside will be where the flowers are. And then I'm going to take and glue the back of this right up there to the bottom of the pizza pan underneath the flowers. Move that aside and then I'm gonna reach right up and I'm just gonna hold that for a couple minutes and then I'm gonna take it out and hang it on my door so you guys can see. And here is how my watermelon re pizza pan wreath looks on my front door, ready to greet people for the summer. I think it looks great. So I hope this inspires you to head off to Dollar Tree and pick up that pizza pan and make your own wreath.